-hmm. Recently, as in, in, in our country, this sadness, this horrible uh, uh, news about the killings, mm. the, 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 the physical abuse that we are much aware of on a daily basis, unfortunately. Mm. But now, it's only the Karabo Mugwena's uh, incident that has awakened yes. up the, the, the reality. People. Yes. And so many people are coming out to say, oh, I'm aware of this. Mm. It happened with me. Mm. Personally, I have experienced it with my family. Mm. I've, I grew up you know, mm. but then now you are brave enough to say, I've seen it happening. I, I do have a story to tell. And I want to talk about and it. And I want to talk about it. Yeah. I would love for us to, to, to actually to, to just go through that. Nine years ago, I didn't think that I'd be sitting here wow. smiling with you and having tea with you mm. and actually being so blessed and yeah. alive, oh, you know? Yes. So it happened that when I was... Uh, 17 years old, straight out of high school, I met a, a guy. Mm -hmm. You know how they are. You know how they are. <laughs> earth, you know? And yes. you believe them. Because you know, we it, actually it, believe them. Especially because they know, so, they know when you're vulnerable. Exactly. They can sense it that this one is a vulnerable one. You know? Wow. And I had my father absent, I had my brother. My brother was not a cuddly, cuddly, feely person. Yeah, so yeah. In, 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 it was almost like it's a girl's house. I went to a girl's school. What do I know, you know, wow. about about men? So I, like, it goes back to me always saying to people, so there is this tell, space. Your sisters, tell your sisters you love them. Wow. Tell your daughter, I love you. Mm, you mean mm, the world mm. to me. You are beautiful. Wow. Because if you don't, somebody else is going to take Somebody else going to take over. And when that somebody comes, they're going to bring so much love because they, they have this never they seen are filling the space that that has yes. been lacking you know all what I'm this while yeah yes so now i was in a relationship with him when i was 18 i had his daughter wow. the whole time the whole pregnancy oh he was not there he was absent giving birth i was alone having the child when he came back when the child was there he said i want to work things out da, 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 da. and i believed him again you know, yeah. and, and you know, that's the thing about when someone takes you for granted. It's, yeah. it's almost like how they say abuse is a chain. It starts with the smaller things, and then it escalates and it gets bigger. It doesn't just start up there. No, yeah. it doesn't just start yeah. with somebody stabbing you with a knife. It starts wow. with somebody lying to you, deceiving you, calling you names, telling you you're not beautiful. Because you know what? He started, there was a point where he was hitting me. And among them, that was on Shailan. I think it's because you're beautiful. But Nomzamo, tell me mm. about the support structure at that time. Mm. Did was there anybody? Was did you tell anyone about it? Mm. The support structure. What made you to decide to actually say this is not my life? I am moving on from point one to to another. My mother knew. Mm -hmm. you know because i was very close with my mother mm -hmm. so my mother knew i would tell her that this and this is going on this is this yeah, is yeah. going on when my mother saw me she cried she cried i, I that, that was like the second time seeing my mother cry my mother was a very strong woman yeah she cried she said Namzamo, do me one favor i said what she said don't come back with don't like guy you when you when you talk about this i i, I just remember when I was growing up, I made that decision because around me, I saw so much similar situation. Mm. As a matter of fact, my mom and my dad, they mm. had a, a, that physical fight mm. in front of us. Mm. So I made that decision mm. that I will never mm. be involved with someone who will ever lay a hand on me. <laughs>